California Rice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask for unanimous consent to address the House out of order. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Of, Speaker. Of California is recognized for five minutes. First of all, I'd like to thank my uh, good friend and colleague and neighbor, Congressman uh, Mike Honda, first for his leadership on so many issues, and secondly for organizing uh, a special order tonight to celebrate the contributions of Asian American, Asian Pacific Americans, but also to celebrate uh, Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. We have the pleasure of representing the California Bay Area together. Uh, it is really uh, an honor and a magnificent uh, challenge and an exciting part of my district to bring all of our diverse communities together to support many, many issues uh, as minority communities. And so the Asian Pacific American community is one of those communities that is incredibly diverse in my district, not, and it also in our nation, but also plays an increasingly important role in the development of our nation. Uh, with over 5, 14 million people and 24 ethnic groups, uh, they encompass vast histories and rich cultures. In many ways, the APA community is seen as a model minority community. But the truth is the very same challenges like access to health care and education that other communities face are also obstacles to be overcome by Asian Pacific Americans. For example, nearly 2.4 million Asian American Pacific Islanders are without health insurance. And about 13% of Asian Pacific American children are uninsured. Diseases such as diabetes are on the rise and one of the leading causes of mortality among Asian Pacific Americans. Congressman Honda and I are also co-chair the Congressional Out of Poverty Caucus along with our colleagues Congressman Joe Baca, Congressman G.K. Butterfield, and Congressman John Conyers. We all are working to raise awareness of all of these challenges and are working on a plan to eradicate poverty in our country. As in the case, uh, as with many minority communities, uh, education plays a key role in ensuring that the next generation of APAs are able to break free from the cycle of poverty. That is why I am a co-sponsor of H.R. 629, introduced by our colleague from Oregon, uh, Congressman David Wu. This legislation would create institutions of higher education modeled after the historically black colleges and universities and our Hispanic serving institutions. This would establish a university for the American, the Asian Pacific American community. Back at home in the 9th Congressional District of California, my constituents and organizations based in my district are really making an impact in many of these fields. An organization that I am very proud to represent is Asian Health Services. This agency has served thousands of people who cannot afford basic services such as uh, health care and mental health services. Our Asian community is so diverse that Asian Health Services has translators that speak nine different languages. When it comes to health care justice, this agency advocates for those with no voice by working with elected officials to create policies that meet the essential needs and mental health and health care needs. I also want to mention the Asian Pacific Environmental Network. This agency is a powerful grassroots organization and it has done incredible work to provide housing for the waitresses and the security guards and the janitors that keep our community working. They have negotiated with developers to set aside 465 units of housing for low and extremely low income individuals. To further aid this community, the network has negotiated 300 entry level construction career path placements allowing constituents to gather the tools that they need for success. This is truly an important time to reflect upon the accomplishments and the achievements of the APA community. The United States is strong because of its diversity and its immigrants. I am proud to be a member of the Asian Pacific American Caucus and our Tri-Caucus, which reflects the beauty and diversity of our country. Let us rededicate ourselves tonight to eradicate the disparities and the discrimination against the Asian Pacific American community and to celebrate their great contributions. I want to thank Congressman Honda again for your leadership. 
and for making sure that justice prevails uh, for the Asian Pacific American community because your leadership and bringing together the diversity, uh, the health care, um, closing the health care gaps uh, with regard to our minority communities, all of the issues that you work on makes this House of Representatives a better place. Thank you again, Mr. Hammond.